Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Elad. I'm a self-proclaimed Excel expert. I've been working in different um, industries for about 10 years and almost always using Excel. And um, recently I've been also helping others with their Excel issues. I've decided to create this channel to share my knowledge, share you know my passion to Excel with, with the entire world. So if you're passionate about Excel as I am, I hope you'll enjoy this channel. Today I want to share with you a little project that I did that um, is supposed to automatically build um, data for a chart. Um, I'm talking about building the interpolation formula. Um, what's nice about uh, uh, this um, this uh, file that I built in this uh, in the code is that you input your data here. Um, and it will automatically fill up, fill out the, uh, let's say, the data for the entire um, x-axis, you know, for uh, jumps of one. So in this example, my minimum value is one, my maximum is 17, so it filled out one through 17. Um, and it doesn't matter actually the order. I could put here 30, and if I press the button, it just creates the table all the way to 30. Okay, and if I go back to 4, it goes back to this. And it actually fills out the information, um, you know, from the information over here. Whatever x uh, values are missing, it's going to use this, the interpolation formula. So, and that's actually very nice. And also, you could by um, in the code itself I've created the formula so I can just key in 13 for example and it's going to give me the, this value which is based on the data over here um, so that's that's the pretty much the um, the uh, the result of what you can get here uh, let's take a little deep dive into the code I'll share with you a little bit about how I built this it's very simple it's very nice and you can use it uh, and um, you know, play around with it for your own for your own needs. So uh, let me just. So originally, I built this much more complex, and I ended up changing a lot of the uh, the parameters. So it's not the most clean code, but it works. So sometimes, if something works, don't don't ruin it. So here, I'm just you know calling out all the parameters, integers, doubles, worksheets. Uh, originally, I had more than one sheet, um, but uh, now I only use this sheet, so that's actually not required. But I just, instead of just changing the whole code, I just ran with it. So first of all, I want to find the, the first and the last value in my data. That's what I'm using here. So I'm um, using the active sheet and finding the last row. So this is just like uh, pressing Control Shift down. I pulled it off from some from one of them on the sites. It's very useful. One of the good things about VBA is you really can use the, the community the, uh, to to find certain you know certain codes or certain things that you want to do. Um, here I'm setting the range, um, you know, just to uh, to see what I'm where where do I start where do I end. And here I'm actually using um, an Excel function, minimum and max. I like to do this in my code whenever I can, just to use you know normal Excel function, just like if you click here equals minimum. It's the same, same, <coughs> same result. So I get the min and the max. Um, and again, these activations and jumping between sheets don't make any uh, impact because I'm using only one. I'm clearing out you know this sheet. Just to have a fresh start, and again, I could do this, you know, more elegant with, again with using last row, but I just did it very quickly. Now I want to fill out the table, so I have a, a loop that's going from the first value through the last, and basically row by row for the uh, first column, column E, I'm just getting, giving in the uh, row, which is you know starting from row and, and jumps and in integers because I'm using next row, and the value for column F is uh, calling out the formula interpolate, which I'll show you in a second. So interpolate, um, it's a formula that's receiving an integer, 
and um, so as you can see here again I'm looking for the minimum and max uh, I could have passed that information but um, uh, theoretically I could have passed all the information in the um, calling out the formula but um, as I said if it works don't break it don't ruin it <laughs> so basically I have a pretty simple uh, two options either X exists or, or it doesn't if X exists like in this case, I'm just going to use a simple VLOOKUP and return that value. So here I'm using again application, looking for that X value in this range, returning the second uh, column, and returning the, um, uh, the result of the function is actually that value. If X, uh, X does not exist, okay, I'm using this simple IF within his error, so first of all, I'm going to look for x2 and x1. Okay, so x2 and x1, if we're looking for, uh, you know, this value, so you need the, the one before that you know, the one after. Okay, oops, sorry. Um, so how do I do that? Basically, I run two loops, uh, one that goes, you know, uh, from that value going up and one that goes from that value going down so the first and I'm using match to see when do I come up with the X or 1 and X2 that exist once I do that that becomes um, uh, uh, you know that value that I need and for Y2 and Y1 it's the uh, um, simply the um, again VLOOKUP once I found x1 and x2, so I'm getting y1 and y2. And then it's the simple math, similar to what you see over here. y1, y2 minus y1, etc., etc. Okay, back to the code. And once I run, once I complete this, I'm just going to exit the function. Okay, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple, but actually... Um, it could be useful for some people if they want to, you know, uh, complete an entire X chart or X values. So if you change this one to 25, again, just as an example, you get all the information. All right. Um, so if you like this video, I would appreciate if you continue to view my channel, subscribe, uh, you know, help me pass the word so I can continue to uh, publish this original um, uh, data. Um, talk to you later.